Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Robin Armbrecht at Really Robin Stamps and you are joining me today for Paper Crafting Playdate. Today is August 19th, 2022 and this is episode 68 and I'm so glad that you are here whether you're watching this live or later on the replay. I am thrilled to have you in my craft room today. And we are going to um, dissect the collar fold, kind of a fun fold um, kind of card today. And that is what we're gonna do. And so let's, let me um, send you right to the stamping table here. Okay. Not too bad. All right. Happy Friday. If you're watching this one, it's Friday. Let me get the comments pulled up. Okay, that's working out pretty well. Let's see who's joining us today. Hi, Judy. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Lolita. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Susan. Hi, Lori. Welcome, everybody. What are you guys up to? Leave me a comment. Say hello to everyone in the group. If you're brand new, please say hi and where you're from. I'd love to hear where you are from. Hi, Nidia. Hi, Michelle. Yay, it's Friday. It's time to play. All right, one quick little news uh, celebration is winding down here. End of August is coming soon. It's the 19th. So if you haven't taken advantage of celebration, you should do so. If you uh, place an order for $50 or more by the end of August, you're going to get my little fun little fall embellishment kit. I'll just show you a little bit of it. I've put together a lot of fun little kind of neutral ribbons um, and some wood elements and these fun leaves and some embellishments and this will help you just kind of create some little embellishment clusters which we're going to talk about that a little bit too today while we're putting together our collar folds. Okay, so that is my freebie that comes directly from me when you place an order of $50 or more and you use the hostess code. So you have to use the code. And the only time you don't use the code is when you are spending over $150, then you are the hostess and you earn the free stuff. So um, that's how that works. And if you have questions on that, please ask, please ask. Okay. So the collar fold is what we're going to be making. And it's technically not a fun fold because the card base is just a normal card. Hi, Cindy. Let's see, oh my goodness, who else is here? Hi, Susie. Hi, Katrina, hi, Wanda. Hi, Kay. Lynn, it's crazy, huh? Oh boy. I don't, I hope it's not the terrible kind of crazy, just the busy kind of crazy. Wendy's sorting her craft room. Good, good. That's a good thing. That'll get you inspired. So this is a very simple little um, fun way to make a card front look very special. And it's a great way to make a card where um, you can showcase both sides of your designer series paper. And I know that's always kind of a struggle when you're putting and using this beautiful paper is that you almost hate to cover up one side when they're so beautiful, right? Um, but this is the perfect kind of opportunity when you make this card, you get to see both sides. So this is my card base here, and this is Parakeet Party. And it's just a basic card size that's made out of five and a half by eight and a half 
um, cardstock and scored in half at four and a quarter. So the other two pieces that you need to do a collar fold is you need a piece of designer series paper that is four inches by five and a fourth. And then you're going to need a layer uh, that is also the exact same size. And it can be white, it can be another piece of um, designer series paper, you'll kind of see as we go along here. So let me show you. Hi, Barbara. Oh, it's great to have everybody here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is make, technically it looks like a collar, that's why it's called a collar fold, and I'm going to make that fold along the long edge. So I need to figure out where the middle is, and since this is five and a fourth, halfway in the middle is two and five eighths. And I've, I've verified it like, you know, three times. So you can trust me. <laughs> uh, so you're gonna find that two and five eighths. And you're gonna just make a slit at that halfway mark. And if this is, this is the part that's very flexible. I think it looks best if you're at least one and a half inches deep to two inches, but that's gonna change the size of that piece that looks like a collar. So I'm gonna go one and three fourths. I think that's a really good, so that's what this um, measurement right here is. The one and three fourths is how deep you go in. The two and five eighths is where you make the cut. So you can just use this ruler right here to help you with how how deep to go, or if your cutter doesn't have that, you can kind of make a mark on your paper. Okay, so that's basically all we need to do. So what's gonna happen is these pieces are gonna fold back and make it look like the shirt collar, right? If you want to the first time, you can score from the inside of this cut to the corner. And all I'm doing is just putting the piece uh, the, the where I can see that little, where the cut ends, putting it right in between um, this clear, gosh, what's it called? This thing here. And then I'm just scoring. And so I think the first time when you make this, it's helpful if you if you do a little scoring. You can also use your ruler. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Julie. So nice to see you. You can also use your ruler. So you can put the, a corner here and a corner there and use your you know bone folder or a stylus tool to get that score line. But once you've done it, you can kind of figure out the angle there and it's pretty easy to do without the scoring. So you're gonna fold that back. You're gonna fold that one back. Like that. So now you're gonna get to see both sides. So that's why it's called a collar fold because it looks like a shirt collar. Most of the time, this gets mounted kind of on the edge um, of a card like this. But this fold can go anywhere, which I'm gonna show you. All right, so one of the fun things about a collar fold is that you, it kind of has this kind of, you know, peeled back kind of look. Um, so you can do different things. You can put your greeting here. You can um, use an embossing folder on this piece. There's just lots of different ideas. So what I'm gonna do first is just keep this very simple and I'm going to stamp some words on the piece that's gonna be popping out. So I picked out these two bright colors today since it's Friday, and I'm gonna use two greetings um, from this Charming Sentiments set. I'm gonna use the Woohoo, and I'm gonna use Super Fantastic Mega News. And so I'll just get a couple of messages at the same time by using two different greetings. And so I'm just gonna stamp Twenty 
twice. So I get kind of a variegated look here with my woohoo. And I don't have to do all of it. Just the part that's going to be showing. This is my favorite new thing to do. I just like to take the, the stamp when I get done and just kind of rub that, help it just use it as a like a sponge almost because it's like you already have the stamp in your hand and then you can kind of get that edge to have a little bit of um, shading on it. All right, so let's put this on our card front. And then we're going to put this, so this, uh, I do like that, but you could do it this way too, let's see. Which one do I like better? Oh my, they're both really cute. I'm gonna stick with what I started with. And this is gonna go right on top and cover up the white, um, basic white piece. That. So now we've got our little words kind of peeking through. So these are going to get adhered to the um, back, to the to the front of the card so that they don't stay, oh my goodness, <laughs> so that they don't move, right? They don't flap around like that. Um, and you can glue it right to the back on itself on the designer series paper, but I kind of like the little shadow that effect that happens if you use a dimensional, you kind of get a little bit more dimension. Okay, so let's talk about, um, so that's your basic collar fold. It's super easy and very fun. Let's talk a little bit about um, sentiment clusters is what I'm gonna call them. Because I think um, it's really fun when you have a card like this. Uh, you can do anything with this and you can put little embellishments anywhere on it. So um, let's talk about, so here's what I'm going to put my um, greeting on. Ways to layer. I think it's really when you um, are trying to make an accent piece on your card, that's really like the focal point because this this layout, right as it is right now, doesn't have a focal point. It's it's a it's a layout basically. So we want to put our our sentiment, our main greeting on there, and we kind of want to make a little cluster of items so that it is um, the it is just a really fun focal point. So I'm just going to layer with my die cut and the punches. And this is the one that I am leaning towards right now that I'm going to do. So I'm gonna use the decorative circle punch and use this stitched circle from this Stylish Shapes die set. I think I use Stylish Shapes about every time that I sit down to stamp. This is such a great die set. So I highly recommend that one if you don't have that. So I'm gonna take my accent color here of Tahitian Tide, and that's what this will sit on. And so this is a great focal point, right? That's perfect. But I guess what I'm talking about clusters is thinking about how you can just add a little bit more to this piece just to make it interesting. And so I kind of came up with, um, with like five things, right? So you've got your sentiment, you have a support layer, that's something else, and then ribbon, an accent piece, and an embellishment, okay? So I have my support layer here. I'm gonna add some ribbon, but I'm gonna do an accent piece. 
of this beautiful Tahitian tied glimmer paper. And so I cut out just another shape like that. And we're gonna just add this as a layer underneath just to give it a little bit extra. So let me stamp the greeting. Okay, so there is the greeting. And so I'm going to put this in the middle as a little bit of an extra layer. This piece is so happy with that little glimmer. My goodness. All right, let's see. I'm gonna offset it just a little bit so more of it's sticking out on that side. Okay, so we have our support layer of this punch and we've got an accent piece and then we need some ribbon and embellishments. So I went ahead with the glimmer paper and I picked the parakeet party. And since it's ombre, you can get different shades of the same, same color. And I used these little hearts right here that come with the dies um, for this charming sentiments. There's candles. Oh, there's just all these little fun little like whoop de doos is what I'm going to call them, but they're just little like accent pieces, right? And so we'll put these on. nice and sparkly. And then we'll just add a little bit of the, the coordinating ribbon. So we're going to stick this kind of right here. And I'm going to pop that one up. I feel like I'm moving in slow motion right now. I sure hope that I'm not, but I must be relaxed or something. Okay, so I'm gonna stick this right here like that, and we'll just add a little bit of ribbon. Okay, so I don't know if I explained that terrifically, <laughs> but when I'm talking about um, a cluster, um, it's essentially just kind of a, you know, souped up version of just a layered sentiment. And so if you think about your support layer, um, an accenting kind of piece, your embellishments and ribbon, if you kind of think about adding a couple more things, to that, you're going to get something that's really um, stepped up a little bit. And I think it works really well for this kind of um, card front because uh, it kind of balances, I think, 
how the collar fold lays and then also just how it's um, pretty simple um, overall. If that makes sense, I don't know. Here is um, another one I did in our in colors, um, just to show a little bit different. I used the Celebration Free Set Amazing Phrasing. This is so much fun to play with. And so here we've got the sentiment piece, the supporting piece, some a little ribbon thrown in there, the accent pieces. All right, you guys like that one? Awesome. Here, let me hold this up a little bit so you can see, see those little focal points close up. Okay, so these are happy, cheerful cards, Judy. I love these colors together. These three colors are just so happy. I agree. All right, so this is the basic collar fold where you're folding it right in the middle. So let me show you some more. So here is the lovely in linen paper. Here's the little cluster. Now it actually needs a support layer on there, but uh, again, it's got these little accent pieces and then the embellishments. Here's how you can just add a nice solid but emboss um, underneath for that layer and it adds nice texture. And here is another one that is embossed using the timber, I think. Hello, Sarah. <laughs> oh, Wendy, I'm so excited you've never seen this fold before. This fold's been around for a long time, but I have I haven't, I don't know, I don't, I honestly don't know if I've ever made this fold before and it's really fun. Okay, so here you can flip it to the other side, right? So this little collar piece can go anywhere. So this is an example of how you can just stamp the greeting right on that piece. You don't have to make a cluster, right? Just stamp it right there. Here's another one with the perfect, perfectly penciled, perfect penciled. So this is um, a landscape card. So you can put that collar right on the top. And then here's another one with it being at the top. Super flexible. So here's an example of another cluster where you just put some greenery behind there. Um, I think if you if you think about that formula of thinking of your sentiment, a support layer, an accent punch, or um, die cut and then your embellishment in a little riddle ribbon. I think it'll, I think it'll work for you. Okay. That's our basic. Let's step it. Oops. Let's step it up a little bit and let's do what I'm going to call an offset collar fold. So there's our basic. Okay, so I am working with this suite of products here um, and just the paper really because I don't have these um, bundles. But this is on page 31 of the mini catalog and this is Lights Aglow paper. 
and then there's these festive foils and this glimmer paper and it all coordinates together. So I'm, I'm challenging you to think outside the box, right? Because this is clearly designed for the holidays. But we're going to make a birthday card. So here is that beautiful paper. One side has gold foiling. And then the other side is just a nice neutral pattern. It's very beautiful. It's like trees. Once I opened this and started looking at it, I'm like, you could, this is just fun and happy paper. It doesn't always have to be Christmas. So these two pieces here are very fun. And you can use the stylish shapes dies to cut out these shapes in a couple different ways. And then what you get are you, you can get some beautiful little frames. So I, I went ahead and did that for our, our focal point. Let's put that aside here. Let me just finish the show and tell. This is the foiled paper. So this is um, foiled tone on tone. So the gold piece has gold and the cherry cobbler piece has cherry and the soft succulent piece has like soft succulent. Um, it looks, looks almost more embossed. It's very beautiful. And then the other part of that suite is this glimmer paper that's vanilla and gold and evening evergreen. So it's, it's very beautiful, very elegant. Okay, so here's our, our piece that we're going to make the collar fold out of. So instead of doing it right in the middle, I'm gonna do it offset. So I'm gonna do it at two inches. And I'm gonna go again to one and three fourths. I'm not gonna score it this time. I'm gonna show you that you can just kind of Fold at the corner. Just fold back like that. So this is just gonna be off-centered. So we're gonna make this into a birthday card because I want you to see this paper can be nice. Now, if you don't want to put this whole other piece of um, beautiful paper underneath, you can cut this in half and save yourself some paper. So let's just try that. We'll put that back there. And we're going to put it on a cherry cobbler card. The paper is so pretty, you hardly need to do anything else. So we're going to pop that up. So you see how you just get a slightly different little angle there. It's really fun. Um, you can adjust this 
obviously in either direction. The closer you get um, to the to the edge, that means this is going to fold back and and lay over your card. So um, about two inches, like one and a half kind of works, or one and three fourths inch works. But anything um, I guess smaller than that, it, your, your fold is going to cross the edge of the card. Okay, so this is going to be our layering piece here and I got that beautiful circle again and I'm going to make this a birthday card so I'm going to do wishing you the best birthday ever and because we've got the gold we're going to do some embossing So have you guys seen the new embossing kit? Oh my goodness. If you don't have anything like this and you wanna try embossing, this is pretty fun. So let's do a little embossing here. So this is your embossing buddy. It's a, it's, it, it's a little bag with powder and it helps the powder to only stick where you want it to stick. So you rub it on before you do your stamping. So I want to emboss in gold. And we're going to use the Versamark ink because that is the sticky ink that allows the powder to stick. Now, this is perfect if you don't have little trays like I do. Little containers. You can just pour from your, right from your um, little container right in here and then you can unscrew this and just dump it right back into the bottle. So that's very handy. Okay, so. I'm gonna move that away so I don't spill it. So you get these tweezers to pick up and hold, right? And you get this little brush, which if you do get some where you don't want it to be, you can brush off. All right, so this is ready to be heat set. So I'm gonna turn on the heat tool. So as soon as the powder starts to melt, you just move move the tool around and, and then it's done. As soon as everything's shiny, then it's done. Okay, Jana, I just read what you said. So Jana heard that you should use the buddy on your tray before each time to make the powder. That makes sense. So you're saying you do this on the tray and that way your powder won't stick It'll like uh, help it to slide out. Is that what you're saying? I think that's a great idea. Okay, so now we have, these are high quality. Oh my goodness. I'm super excited about these. They're real, um, real nice metal. Okay, so we have our layer there. I've got some ribbon and some embellishments. And then I brought out the um, metallic, brushed metallic um, paper. It is one of the things you can get as a free item during celebration. The brushed metallic set is like three shades of the golds. So you can also get the silver foil and you can get that for free. And this is just a great way to layer with something a little shiny. And I'm gonna use my very favorite layering punch, the 
bow punch. And we'll just do a couple of these. I use this one all the time. So it's just gonna add just a little bit of um, depth to that. Well, that's cute. Okay, so let's see. Let's put these on here. You could also punch out of that um, glimmer paper that I just showed you. That would be really pretty. Okay, so there's our little cluster. I'm liking that. You can um, add a little bow or you can just add some twine underneath or whatever this is called. So let's just see if we can make one of those little nice little clusters down there of right out, didn't it? Okay, I think it's coming together. The greens of that are in this designer series paper, um, a glow, are really beautiful too. I think they'll make beautiful Um, cards, not just for the holidays. Okay. I like that. And we'll just take some of these coordinating gems here and give it a little accent. There's our birthday card. Kind of thinking outside the box. I think I might need to add one more dimensional here. It's kind of wiggling on me. Okay, so this is the offset collar fold. There. So you just adjust where you make that cut. Instead of cutting it right in half at two and five eighths, you can cut it at two inches and then you get just a nice little different kind of fold. So here are some other examples. So here I put it on the um, bottom of the card. Here is another one on the side. I didn't go as deep in. I just went one and a half inches instead of one and three fourths, so you can get a, just a more narrow collar. Again, with the stamping right there. And then here's just a cluster of punches and ribbon. And then here's another one at the top. Here's one where I would say, see how you, you can get it to kind of start to go over. This was my one where I learned that. Okay, um, and then here's just a different, this is this is in the center, but it's on the short side instead of the long side. You can actually make it look like a shirt 
you could do an actual collar <laughs> and make it look like a shirt, so. Okay, that's the offset one. I have one more to show you. Now you can take the, the, the same concept and then make it go even farther. Just move everything aside here. Okay, let's put our offsets away. So the last one that we're going to do is going to be a pocket card with the collar fold. And so for this This version of the collar fold, you need a piece of 12 by 12 paper. And I cut mine at four inches. So it's four by 12. And you're going to score this to make the pocket at three and a fourth inches from each side. Okay, so these are gonna fold in and overlap there. And then to do the, um, the collar fold, that's going to be in this middle piece here. And so the exact middle, because this is 12 inches, is six inches. And so I marked at six inches and I'm gonna go ahead and cut down to one and three fourths. like that. All right, so our collar fold. will be right in the middle. And then we'll close on the back. You can use tear tape if you want. I'm just gonna use liquid glue so I have a real tiny seam down here at the bottom because we're gonna fill this with a card. Okay, so here's our pocket with the collar fold on it. Now you can just slide like a postcard in and out of here, but you can also make a note card size, which is five by seven. And so I did that out of um, So Saffron. So this is um, seven inches by five inches scored at three and a half. And when that's folded, it just fits right in there. And so we're going to decorate this. We're actually going to use uh, the paper pumpkin kit for August that ca just came in my, in my mailbox. It's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Who has this kit? I'm almost afraid to use it. Look at these envelopes. <gasps> they're, just, they're just breathtaking, truly. Um, you can get all these little pieces in here. So I haven't made these cards yet, but I could not wait to use the stamp set. Um, sunflowers are just so like August to me. I don't know why. So I'm using the stamp set that came with my paper pumpkin kit and I'm gonna take the sunflower. And I'm just gonna create a background This is So Saffron ink on So Saffron cardstock. Okay, so just create. 
created the background. And then we'll do the center, same thing. That was fun. <laughs> so our inside card is going to be very simple. I'm just gonna add a little tiny um, greeting. And the fun thing about a pocket card, obviously, is that you you will put a greeting on the pocket and then you've got another little card where you've got space to put another greeting here and then something on the inside as well. So I love this little for a one of a kind friend. And we'll do soft suede. And then we're going to take these cute little bees. Oh my goodness. And I'm going to use the crushed curry just to make it a little bit They're so cute. going to keep that very simple on the inside for a one-of-a-kind friend. Wishing you so much happiness. Okay, so that's going to go in there. We've got our monochromatic going on here. All right, so I stamped the um, sunflower in crushed curry and soft suede and I already cut it out. just I'll have to do it again um, I had already cut out this little hello so we'll just do that really quickly to put on our sunflower So we're just going to put a little ribbon here as our, our little accent.
I'm going to use the tiny dimensionals behind this little hello, and then it'll be popped up just like the sunflower. Pretty cute. What do you think? Kind of end of summery. So there's our little inside. Like that. I feel like it needs a couple little embellishments just to oh my we're going to use the rustic metallic dots idea. So that's the pocket card version. So here's one with what I'm calling the Halloween paper, but I can't remember what it's called. Um, and here's the little cluster right here. It's fun to use one of the little um, edges and um, create an edge on there. So this one's just a postcard insert here is the pretty prints paper with the insert so here's another example of just you know layering making a little cluster Here's one of the other fall papers. Very simple. And then here's the sweet Christmas sweet paper. This one's a card as well. Yep, the pocket card's pretty fun. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. She said, Gord, gorgeous. Yes, this paper, this is the first time I use this paper. I don't even have the stamp set yet. I don't know who has been ordering my supplies for me. It's me, but I don't know what she's thinking because I keep ordering things, uh, I guess, haphazardly. And so like, I have the paper but I don't have anything else. And then same with, um, what else was I using today? And I'm like, oh yeah, this, you know, this, I have all the papers. I don't have, I don't know. Someone's gotta, someone's gotta use their planner a little bit better and get it all together. <laughs> the pocket card fits in a regular envelope, yes because the finished size of it is four inches by five and a half. So it fits, it's, it's just a slightly, you know, less wide than a regular card. So that's kind of nice to know you can get three of these from one sheet of 12 by 12 um, paper. All right, so what one was your favorite? Do you like the pocket card idea? Do you like the offset versions? Which one are you gonna try first?
there we go. All right. I appreciate your time today. I loved seeing your comments. Thank you so much. Um, thank you for watching. Susan likes the sunflower. Yay. Well, you don't have to pick one favorite. You can have more than one, but I do uh, challenge you to um, get out some of your beautiful designer series paper and find one that has two great sides and then showcase those sides uh, at the same time on a, on a collar fold. Um, so thank you so much, everyone. I look forward to next time and I hope that you will come and make some of the cards and post it in the Robin's Really Super Stampers group. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.